Hello, listener. If you're hearing this, then there's a big chance a giant monster is rampaging through the city and destroying everything in its path. Maybe it's a giant lizard, or a space giant lizard, or a demon lizard from space, and things might seem hopeless. But fear not, brave citizens, although things might look dire, the Ministry of Paranormal Defense has everything under control. Just follow the instructions and advice of this broadcast, and the chances of your survival will increase... at least somewhat. But, lucky you, this message will be automatically broadcasted the moment a dying monster has been spotted in your city. Meaning you have all the time to be stuck in a traffic jam in an effort to escape the city. Now, while you might be stuck in your car, you might wonder what this titanic monster attacking your city actually is. I'll refer to them as Kaiju, but regional variants may apply, such as Titans or Gods. Right now, you are experiencing a Kaiju attack. These beasts of nature have been around for over eons and have been plaguing humanity since the dawn of men. Stories of those monsters date back to ancient Greece, but for some reason most of them have moved to Japan or the United States. We do not know why this is occurring, nor do we know why they keep appearing more frequently, but we can assure you there's nothing to worry about. And if anyone claims they are the result of government experiments, they are wrong and should not be trusted. They are obviously lying to you. As you might know, some of the kaiju might appear human-like, or lizard-like, or even alien-shaped. We don't know about these monsters, besides that they are completely harmless, of course. We've discovered several variants of these beasts. Most of them are basically giant animals that were frozen during the Ice Age. For some reason, more of these keep appearing, and we do not know why. It's almost like something is causing these monsters to wake up, but those are just rumors. The second variant of kaiju is often lizard-like. They are generally really slow, but in return have the ability to spit fire, or atomic fire, or a giant laser beam. Luckily for us, these kaiju rarely work together and are extremely hostile to each other. When you encounter more than one kaiju, our protocol is to let them fight each other until one remains standing. The third variant of kaiju is often based on sea creatures and comes from either the depths of the ocean or the depths of space, and has a disturbing amount of tentacles. These weak-muscled creatures are surprisingly well adapted to our atmosphere. We do not know why, but we are working on polluting the ocean until they all die out. There are several more variants, but these are the most common. Despite this, we know a little about them, but we do know the following things about these entities. These kaiju seem to be immune to most forms of conventional firearms. For this reason, the Ministry of Paranormal Defense advises people to not start shooting at kaiju, as this serves to only anger them. 2. These monsters are always angry. We have considered therapy for them, but our advice is to not anger them. Kaiju, for some reason, are vulnerable to certain superheroes. In this event, get out of the way. Whenever a superhero is on the scene, your chances of survival will drop drastically. Just let the superhero deal with the monster and hope you won't get trampled. For more information on this situation, I'll refer you to our guide. How to Survive a Superhero Attack now let's look at the things you, brave citizen, can do to survive. In the event that you do not live in a city, you are almost guaranteed 100% safe. Again, we do not know why kaiju are attracted to urban areas, but for some reason, they are. Thus, being not in a city increases your chances by at least 99%. In the rare event that you live in a city, we... We suggest you to hide. Kaiju are too big to fit inside your house, and if you hide under your bed, they most likely won't find you. Again, you are not in any danger. Whenever a kaiju attacks, the Ministry of Paranormal Defense will deploy several strategies to protect you. It might be reassuring for you to know that we have several ways of getting rid of kaiju. First, we will send in several fighter jets to deal with the situation by shooting standard long-ranged missiles at it. When this fails, we will consider deploying a nuclear device now. We know this might sound drastic, and you might wonder why we would skip the entire arsenal in between, but we have good reasons for that. Uh -huh. After we decide not to deploy the nuclear device, we will move on to stage 2, which involves sending our own giant robots. Yes, you heard that correctly. The best way to fight giant monsters is with our own giant monsters. Fight fire with fire. You might worry our own giant monsters might damage your property, but do not worry. Our pilots are the best of the best. They are young and conventionally attractive, so you know you're in the right hands. Now, when even this fails, we have a solid backup plan. We'll send in the children. Our studies have shown that even unstoppable forces of nature have a weak spot for small children. We can't call the police about it. And if nuclear devices and giant robots can't stop this kaiju, our small child can. 
We raised this child in a lab and he is friends with the offspring of the giant monster trampling your city. And once the giant monster sees this small child, it will stop their rampage. Hopefully. And when this fails, well, you're most likely doomed anyway. This concludes the guide on surviving kaiju. Just remember to stay calm and let the government handle this. After all, we've never failed before. Good luck with the giant monsters outside and communications. this one last. Not even a full minute. It's an improvement at least. She is clearly toying with them. Doesn't matter. Even if they slow her down it's worth it. Tell the guys at the lab to keep making more of them. God, we lose more people to these damn monsters than to that angel. Maybe, but their sacrifice will be worth it. We can only pray that the next monster we create will be strong.